Hi everyone, I'm here with uh, Francois again. Hello. Hi. Uh, we're here to talk about something uh, related to the previous talk we did uh, on channels, but different. What is the difference between Google Chrome, the browser everybody knows and uses, uh, most of you probably use it, uh, and Chromium? And Chromium, I think the first thing we should say about it is that it's an open source project. That's yeah. really what it's meant to be. So yeah, the open source project Chromium is uh, composed of three main things. First is the browser, like you said, the Chromium browser. Then you have the rendering engine, Blink, who has a fork of WebKit. And finally, you get the operating system, Chromium OS. OK, so let's, let's focus on the browser side of things. So yeah. let's set aside the rendering engine and the uh, OS side of things. So there's the Chromium. Uh, browser and there's the Google Chrome product, which is also a browser. So let's uh, focus on the differences. The first one, probably an obvious one to most people, uh, in terms of difference, is uh, the logo, right? Yeah. Different logo. logos, <laughs> different colors, googly colors for the Google product, Google Chrome. Um, we get the blue one for Chromium, right. and we get the yellow one for Chrome Canary. So Canary, we'll, we'll talk. talk yeah, yeah I think it's it's worth mentioning. Uh, but maybe not at this point just yet. So first difference, logo, number one. Uh, number two, I mean, Chromium is an open source project. So the source code is open source. Um, yet at the same time, the product that we ship, which is Google branded, Google Chrome itself, has a number of pieces that are not open source because we've licensed technology. So you know, another difference would be that there is the bare bone Chromium uh, version, and then there is the Chrome uh, which is not open source because, well, which contains non open source bits. Yep. So um, that has consequences on some of the features that are, uh, these browsers are able to offer. So, for example, Chromium will lack a number of things because we're missing those uh, yeah. binary pieces we have in the product. You want to talk about those? So, so before mentioning that, just two things just that uh, people will understand that. So, there are Chromium builds that are available on download-chromium.appsport.com. Okay. So basically, every day you get several builds of Chromium you can download and test. And then you have the Chromium browser package that is maintained by distribution maintainers. So you get one for Ubuntu, for Debian, for uh, all the Linux, Linux distribution. And you will see there are some differences. First, like you said, licensing stuff. You don't have Adobe Flash embed in Chromium. So no Adobe Flash, no, no Adobe, Adobe PDF, PDF either. either. Yeah, it's a, it's a plugin. And uh, basically, the Chrome team worked with Adobe to provide the best security experience for users. So that's in Google Chrome. That's not in Chromium. Uh, what else? Codex. Codex, obviously. Codex, audio, video codex. So Chromium, obviously, I'm sure, will support things like uh, um, VPA, VP9, Opus, Varbis, Tira, all these yeah. open source and great codecs are available in Chromium. But there are some other great codecs that, uh, that you have to pay for it. And Google does it, and they provide it in Google Chrome. So this is MP3, H264, and AEC, I believe. So uh, if you download a raw build of Chromium, you don't have access to those codecs. But if you, uh, uh, if like, um, if you access Chromium maybe through one of the distrib Linux yeah, distributions, exactly. maybe the maintainer of that distribution has done yeah. the equivalent work of Google to add to fill some of those gaps. Maybe not all. Not all, but some did. So it's it's cool. Okay, so Flash, PDF, Codecs, some uh, some differences here. Uh, maybe another major difference we should mention here at this point is the update mechanism yeah. for you know the bits that you have installed. And that's so like I if you need to remember one thing, that's the thing. Google Chrome updates whenever it needs. The push updates to you as a user, like to protect you. Right. If you use Chromium, you rely on the maintainer on yourself. There is a huge level of, uh, like there is a huge gap of security here. Okay, so that, that that's interesting. Maybe that's uh, the time we should mention uh, Canary. Yeah, so Chrome updates every six weeks, roughly, for a stable version. Right. Then you get Chromium, 
you can download a Chrome and build every day if you want. Like, uh, like, uh, like you do, probably. Yeah, like I do. But maybe you don't want to do that. I mean, you, you, don't want, you don't want to write a bash script for it. You can just use uh, Canary. And Canary is basically Google Chrome updated every day. And this is where you should test all the upcoming DevTools feature, for instance, or even just the Chrome feature that. So if you're a developer, typically, you want to make sure it works on the target, which is Google Chrome, which everybody uses, but you probably want to test on Canary as well, yeah. or maybe even on Chromium to see what's coming down the line. If you know there are new features which you rely on that are being you know, added, changed, that's probably a good thing to do to, to test on those things. And they, all, they can all be installed at the same on yeah. the same machine, right? But one thing, at this time, Chrome Canary are not available in Linux, okay. just Windows and Mac. So Windows okay. and Mac, that's, that's probably worth mentioning. Uh, one last uh, big difference I see is the syncing part, which is something where it relies on the Google identity you can have in Google Chrome. So that means uh, you have access to a number of synchronization features, uh, the profile, uh, all of that is actually um, related to the fact that you can talk to Google services. And that obviously is part of the Google product, not the open source project. So Yeah, but if you use like um, some builds maintained by uh, Linux distribution, some embed APA key, and you can do that. Right, so that, that's the beauty of having this open source project. Yeah. People can add value. Google obviously does its own product, but others can do similar things or different things and innovate in different ways and add their, uh, their own uh, value on top of that. Definitely, yeah. Cool, so I think we've gone through a number of differences. I hope it's uh, more clear for you than it was before you started watching this. Uh, thanks for, for watching, I know it's clearer for me before I started talking <laughs> to, uh, to Francois. Thanks for watching, cheers. See you guys. <laughs>